Hello everyone and welcome back to Clarissa's Kitchen. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Clarissa and I share very healthy, simple, fun, gluten-free recipes that are super inspiring and motivating to make at home. Whether you guys are a beginner cook or if you guys just have a busy lifestyle like mine, this is just something that is to motivate you to get you out on your feet and into the kitchen to make something really fun and yummy. I know we're breaking away from summer and now we're heading into the fall season. So I wanted to give you guys a very yummy transition recipe from summer to fall. This is a very classic recipe that I made in not one, but five different variations that you guys can definitely have this at home. Whether it's a party, you're by yourself, whether you're catering to your friends or your family, or just heading back to school or going into work, this is a really great recipe. And I'm just already gonna say it, it is hummus. We'll start the video by making the classic hummus recipe. This is again, the base of every other recipe that you'll see as we just continue to add on ingredients to make it that particular flavor. And the other hummus recipes that I made is the garlic hummus. Then we're gonna be making a roasted red pepper hummus. Then we have our avocado hummus. Woo! Avocado, cilantro, lime, bam. Then we have our beet hummus. And then we have our carrot turmeric hummus. Hummus that you never thought could be made so simple. And this recipe does not include tahini. Tahini is a sesame paste, whether you're allergic, like someone in this household here, or if you just don't like the taste of it, this hummus is so good without it, you couldn't even tell. So I just wanna give you guys something to take note of. It's a very easy to go into the grocery store, pick up hummus and take it with you for the convenience. And sometimes I do that, but it's because I really want to try out different flavors or those different brands. So I totally get what you guys are coming from. You're like, eh, hummus is way more easy just to get at the store versus at home. So all I want to share with you guys, if you're going down this really healthy track, is to take note. If you look in the back of the box or back of the package, you should be able to read every ingredient off the list without question, without questioning what is that or how to pronounce it. Because if that does come to the point, then that means that it shouldn't be in your body. Like that's what I've learned. I realize they have like a gajillion, and if gajillion is even a word, they just have a lot of different ingredients that should be really simplified to like five to 10 ingredients in one thing. So that's one reason why I prefer to make my hummus at home. Another one is that it's like four to five dollars every single time, even six dollars too, and this is US dollars. So I don't know what that's equivalent to Canadian or <laughs> pounds or anything like that. Currency, just convert it. My point is, is that if you're a hummus lover and you just realize how much of the portion they give you, it's not that much for how much you spend. You can make hummus that is like half the price or even quarter the price. Before we start this recipe, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoy it and hit the subscribe button right down below because it supports my channel so, so much. And I do post videos every week. So just turn on those notification bells because that way you guys are alerted every time a new video comes up. So continue on watching and now let's get on to the recipe. First, we're gonna be starting with some cans of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Either or, they are the same. And I used four cans for five of the hummus recipes. So if you just wanna use one of the recipes, you only need to use half a can because we're only using a cup. But make sure that you do drain the chickpeas and then also save the liquid. That's the most important because we're gonna be throwing some of that liquid back into the hummus when we start to blend everything together. There's a skin on the outer layer of the chickpeas and you can either leave this on, but in this recipe, I actually had tried to take most of it off because that way the chickpea blend is a lot more smooth and you don't have all the remnants of the skin in the, in the hummus basically. So there's a few ways to do it. You can either take the chickpeas, lay it on a towel, and then take another towel to just rub it together. You could do it one by one, like I did right here. Or another suggestion that you could do is put all the chickpeas in a bowl and start just rub it with your hands. So the first recipe we're gonna be making is the garlic hummus. We're gonna be starting with one garlic clove and we're just gonna chop the very tip of the garlic head so that way we can pour the olive oil and sprinkle salt over it. 
Now I put this in a tin foil because we're going to be wrapping this all together. There's two options that you guys can do. Either the air fryer, which is one of my favorites because it's the quickest. I air fry at 380 degrees for about 16 to 20 minutes. Or you can bake it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes until the garlic is soft. Then we're gonna be adding one cup of chickpeas into a food processor. Then we're gonna be adding one third cup of olive oil. And I just wanna let you guys know that you can always add more olive oil if you like the consistency to be more smooth. Then we're gonna be adding half of a lemon and I did add another half of a lemon just because I like it more lemony. One tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of salt and feel free to add more salt to taste. Then we're gonna be adding that roasted garlic as you can see, it just comes out so easily where the skin is still attached, but you could just pop out all of the garlic into the food processor. Now, if you wanna make it extra garlicky, you are more than welcome to add extra garlic powder. Then I did add another teaspoon of black pepper. Blend it all together, and as you can see, this is the thick consistency that I like, but you can add more lemon juice, you can add more olive oil, or you can add more of the chickpea liquid. And I forgot to mention that we added the chickpea liquid. I added about like three to four tablespoons. After we add it to the bowl, I use the back of the spoon just to make some divots into the top of the layer. So that way we can drizzle some olive oil, some parsley, and some paprika for an extra kick. Next up is our roasted red pepper hummus. Again, we're gonna be adding one cup of chickpeas to the food processor, and this is where the trick is. I actually bought some canned roasted peppers from Costco, but you can actually make your own roasted peppers as well. If you guys are interested, just comment down below and I'm happy to give you that recipe. But in this case, it's really easy. I added three whole roasted red bell peppers. Then I added a tablespoon of salt. Now, don't feel shy about the salt. Then we added a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of cumin, one third cup of olive oil, and again, you can add more as you please. Then we added three to four tablespoons of the chickpea liquid, half or a full lemon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Then blend it all together and it should have this really amazing consistency. And I drizzle some olive oil and some sprinkle some black pepper. And I actually dip this with some cauliflower tortilla chips. Oh my gosh, this was so good. It's actually one of my favorites too. Next up is our avocado cilantro lime hummus. This one reminds me of like a Taco Tuesday or a fiesta night. I really like this hummus. So again, we're gonna start with one cup of chickpeas in the food processor. We're gonna be adding half of an avocado. If you like it more avocado-y, you can add the full avocado just depending on the size of it. And then I'm adding a bunch of cilantro, lime juice. I also add in lemon juice as well a third of a cup of olive oil, and again, you can add more olive oil if you please. Then I added some chickpea liquid, some salt, some pepper, cumin, and coriander, and blend it all up. Sometimes you may need a spatula just to scrape off the edges so that way you can continue to mix everything in it. But once you have that done, you can pour it out in a bowl add some cilantro, some olive oil, more salt to add to the top. You can even squeeze some lime and it's good to go.
This one is very fun and flavorful. This is the beef hummus. I love the vibrant pink colors to it. So let's begin this recipe. We're gonna add one cup of chickpeas again. And I added about four to five beets that I bought from a can. And this is just really to pick up the vibrant colors. You can also roast these beets just like we did with the garlic, which is a little olive oil, salt, and wrap them into tin foil, either air fry them or bake them. So that way it has more of a roasted flavor. But in this case, I just threw in some of the beet liquid from the can and then also the beets with some olive oil, some chickpea liquid, lemon juice, salt, pepper, cumin, coriander, and blend it all up. Now remember all these recipes are listed down below in the description box. So that way you guys can screenshot it in case if you ever do want to make this. And look at that consistency, so bright, so colorful. It tasted slightly like beets, but honestly, the chickpeas really hit the flavors and I personally like that. I know beets are super healthy, but I personally don't like the taste as much. So anything to hide it is always my go-to. with some parsley and sprinkled with some salt. This tasted really good with the celery or any type of veggies. The last recipe we're gonna be making is the carrot turmeric hummus. We're gonna be starting with one cup of chickpeas and I roasted two whole carrots that I cut in half and I actually air fried this for about like 10, 15 minutes at 380 degrees. You could do the same in the uh, oven for 400 degrees about like 10 to 15 minutes or just until it's soft. Then we're gonna be adding some olive oil, some chickpea liquid, lemon juice. We got some cumin, turmeric powder. We added some salt, pepper, and a little bit of coriander and blend it all up. I loved how veggie tasting this was. I felt like I was getting all my carrots in one meal. And this hummus was really good, super vibrant, perfect for fall. And there you have it guys. Those are my five hummus recipes that give you all the variety, all the flavor, the taste, the color. And hummus guys is not just for dipping. You can also make it in sandwiches. You can make it in pita bread. You could make it over a protein power bowl, like a Buddha bowl. Those are really good too, or over salad. But if I really have to give you guys my ultimate favorite, I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but it's definitely the garlic hummus. Second to that, I would say the tie between the avocado cilantro lime hummus and then the roasted red pepper hummus. But you guys tell me which one's your favorite. Comment down below on which ones that you guys like so far. And then as you make these recipes, if you really enjoy them as much as I did, definitely come back to this video, comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite because man, there's so many different variations that you guys can make, but these were like my top five. So again, if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is super helpful to me and this new community that I'm building out and as well as the notification bell because I'm posting videos every single week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time in Clarissa's Kitchen.